You're watching Good Day Central Illinois on WYZZ. Although Gertie predicted six more weeks of winter, there are still plenty of fun activities planned at Wildlife Prairie Park or the winter season. That's right. And joining us this morning to tell us more about upcoming events at the park is Brian Brumble. Good morning. Good morning. Glad to have you here. Who do we have first? So <laughs> first of all, um, today's uh, animal ambassador I brought with me is our tiger salamander. Um, so this is Rufio. Uh, before we went on air, we were talking about how he looks like he might be a little bit slimy. Yeah. Um, and that's because even though he looks like a lizard, he is an amphibian. Um, oh. So these guys are closely related to like our frogs, frogs. Um, mm -hmm. but we see them a lot less because they like to hang out under like leaves and logs and things um, and don't tend to make a whole lot of noise, but uh, they do have that kind of moist skin like that. Very good. And we can see the tiger resemblance there. Yeah, yeah. 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 Some of them out. have a little more stripes than spots, but um, it depends on the individual. <laughs> Very good. So can you tell us about some upcoming classes at the park? There's quite a few coming up. Yeah, so we got a couple of different uh, series going on. We've got our um, our uh, wellness yoga program that's mm -hmm. happening on Saturdays. That's always yes. from 11 to noon. Um, we have our Critters and Coffee series, which I've been talking about on this show for like over a year. Um, so that's, uh, our adult education program happens on um, Saturdays at 2 o'clock. Uh, and I believe the next two are going to be on whales and then snakes. Yes. Um, so those are the, the two for that. And then uh, finally, we're bringing back our um, wilderness survival classes. So we have oh. our first one that's on uh, winter wilderness survival um, coming up, I believe, on the 25th. Yes. That's so great. And you have a keeper chat coming up. Can you yep. tell us more about that? Yep. So we, we recently got our wolves. Um, and so we've been yeah. scheduling oh, a uh, wolf feeding and kind of educational oh. chat on Saturdays. Um, so every Saturday at one o'clock, we'll be doing like a public feeding of them. And so you can come check out the What do you feed the wolves? Yeah. Um, just meat, you know, <laughs> we got a uh, hunter um, volunteers that bring in some deer for us oh. and then all sorts of different kinds of food. <laughs> oh, goodness. So are they adjusting well? I know they're still yeah. fairly new. Yeah, yep, yeah, they're definitely adjusting well. I believe their yard that they're currently in is the largest area that they've ever lived in. So they're definitely making use of the space, um, running around and they, they seem to be getting along pretty well amongst them themselves too, so that's good. Making themselves at home. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and while there's no snow on the ground right now, you know, not too cold actually we were talking about, can you right. tell us about some winter fun people can look forward to when it does? <laughs> right, yeah, so we kind of have to wait for the, the like kind of the right snow, right? But some of the uh, winter activities um, that you can do out of the park is sledding. Um, so we've got, uh, oh. you know, a, a hill by the bison and elk pasture that when the snow is right, we let people uh, do that. Uh, there's cross country skiing out at the park, um, fat tire biking, all that stuff. But like I said, it's we, Gertie did predict a longer winter, but we've had a pretty warm week since then. So uh, we'll and I'm keep not right about it. <laughs> exactly. I'll, that's fine with me. Yeah. She can be wrong. Very good. So we'll just do a little rundown again. So we have critters and coffee. Yep. Uh, the wellness yoga series on Saturdays. And then also we've got our upcoming uh, wilderness survival classes. And the first one, I believe, is on the 25th. All right. Exciting. Very good. So lots of things still going on at the park. But of course, we will share all of that information on our website. Bryant, thank you for joining us. Thank you. And we'll share all these details, like I said, on our website, ciproud.com.